Hey everyone, I am back with another matcha review. I just keep on sending these reviews out. And yeah, I actually didn't even know that I missed this matcha. I have had this matcha before from David's Tea. I just saw on my channel that I just never reviewed it. So here it is. It is a David's Tea's Gingerbread Matcha. So this matcha has been out for years. This is one of um, David's Tea's original matchas for the holidays. It is mocha, gingerbread, and candy cane are usually the three that they come out with each year. Um, this one, um, I have had, like, I don't have this one often. I do have it whenever I get a chance to grab some. I did grab a 50 gram bag online. They come out with these cute little bags and I'm, I'm into it. So yeah, um, it says spicy holiday boost it is a matcha and it says sugar and spice ingredients are cane sugar matcha green tea natural gingerbread flavoring so i did do two perfect spoons of this one i did some milk and some water and some ice um the smell of this one is kind of like i wouldn't say gingerbread it is a little bit spicy it's not as spicy as chai matcha though i do smell the spices i smell the ginger it does kind of bring out like a cookie kind of vibe, but I wouldn't say it's gingerbread. Um, there is a slight bakery note and you do smell the matcha as well. This is one of um, David C's original holiday matchas. So back in the day, they came out with a lot of good, good matcha blends. Um, I find that nowadays that they're just loaded, loaded in sugar and you don't really enjoy the taste as much of the matchas nowadays, but um, I did prepare it in my tumbler as an ice latte this evening. I'm gonna give it a try. So this one, yeah, it's, I taste the green tea. It's like, that's the thing. I taste the matcha and I taste that slight, slight, subtle gingerbread in the back notes. Um, this matcha is not too sweet. Um, it, it brings out a nice kind of cozy vibe. Um, I do like this old matcha just because it isn't loaded with sugar. Yes, it does have cane sugar, but it is a good amount and it is balanced with the original um, traditional matcha. So that's what I like about the old David C's matchas. They're perfectly sweetened. They're not too bad. I wouldn't recommend adding sugar to this. You can, but I personally don't sweeten any of my matchas unless they are traditional. This one I have not sweetened. So this one I didn't really draw towards. I, I've never drawn towards like gingerbread matcha. Every year I get the candy cane matcha every single year. I don't stock up on it. I just buy enough for a tin. This one I've never even had a tin. That's how little of this matcha that I drink. Um, it's not a very common matcha for me to have in my collection. Um, I'm probably going to finish this bag and, and be done with it. Um, unless this tea goes on sale, which um, last year the matchas... The only matcha that I remember going on sale was candy cane and mocha. Maybe gingerbread went on sale. I just maybe didn't buy any. I don't really remember. But um, this one's pretty good. It's not bad. It's just not a favorite. So would I, would I repurchase this tea? I would. Would I stock up? I would not stock up. Rating out of 10. This one's good. Uh, the sweetness level is good. It comes up with a nice cookie ginger flavor. It's like a 7 out of 10. It's not my favorite matcha by all means, but it is good. So that was my quick review of Gingerbread Matcha by David's Tea. It is available online now if you guys want to pick some up. Um, it's pretty good. So I highly recommend this one. So thank you guys so much for watching.